South Yorkshire, birthplace of the beautiful game, home to some amazing castles and buildings known for its iconic industrial past. But it's the stories of the people that are working and living here that I'm interested in. This is South Yorkshire Stories. I quite like that one. <laughs> I'm at Sheffield FC where the chairman will be showing me around to learn where this club has come from and where it's going and the special place it holds in football history. Well, Sheffield Football Club are obviously a football club and recognised as the world's oldest and first football club. Formed in 1857. Uh, recognised by FIFA and the FA. You know, we've been around a long time and our football club are, are famed for not inventing football, but coming up with the first common set of laws by which other teams played. So we are the first football club. And along the way, we, we've had a lot of firsts um, in, in our city of Sheffield. We invented crossbars, corner kicks, headers, free kicks, the first floodlit game. And the first game between two teams happened to be on Boxing Day in 1860 between Hallam and Sheffield. And uh, the rest, they say, is history. You know, its heritage and history is, is to most football fans more important than money. We've got recent plans to relocate to a new stadium back in the city, which we'll call the home of football. We've launched a global membership scheme, picked up 3,000 members. The interesting thing is it's from 51 different countries. A benefit for our, our not only our city, but our region, but also our nation. You know, this is the biggest global game in the world, and it started here. As heritage buildings go, it doesn't get much grander than Wentworth Wood House. But this place is not just a pretty facade, there's a lot going on inside. Let's go and see. So Wentworth Wood House is a 300 year old stately home that's been through many, many different iterations. It's been a family home, it's been a college, it was the army were here in the Second World War and this space in particular is a, a beautiful example of Palladian architecture and people are really interested in what's been filmed here as well. Things like Darkest Hour, Victoria and even Downton Abbey the movie. So as we were walking here I saw a lot of amazing art. Can you tell me a bit about the art? Yeah, if people are interested in art and culture that's something we're really interested in here. At the moment on display are artworks from around the world as part of a competition for people with learning difficulties and autism. This is an exhibition uh, about the experience of first-generation Pakistani women coming to the UK and all of the items here are items that they brought over with them from Pakistan. And this feels like a great space for families, something you can do with the kids. What about for them? Yeah, there's lots going on for families. There's a, a house trail uh, for children to follow, there's a garden trail. We have activities going on in the garden, crafts uh, and games for the children and a mud kitchen. Bringing us right up to date, we now have the Wentworth Woodhouse Preservation Trust who are working to save it for the future really, for the people of Rotherham and the whole of the nation. This place is amazing. It used to be one of the industrial centres of the north and now it has a little bit of something for everyone. We're in Elsica, which is a village right in the heart of South Yorkshire. And it's a really remarkable place, to be honest. Uh, it was first built over 200 years ago by earls, by aristocrats. It became this booming centre of industry, innovation, iron making and coal mining. And today it's turned into one of Yorkshire's very, very favourite places to go for a trip out and a visit. Huge antique centre, find some bargains and special treasures to take home with them. You can see these wonderful workshops all around us and they're now absolutely packed with wonderful independent shops, um, cafes, antiques, beer tap, and all kinds of other things as well. But we also have fantastic events in our big ironworks. Of course, we've got all those wonderful stories and that heritage and that history for people to discover as well. Elsica was a working pit village right up until the 1980s. So those incredible Yorkshire stories come all the way through to recent times. Doncaster Minster is one of the town's most recognisable landmarks and the team inside is just as impressive. We're stewards here, our heritage stewards. Our particular interest is the history. There was a church on this site from the middle of the Norman period, but that burnt down in 1853. The people of Doncaster in 1853 immediately decided that they were going to rebuild the church 
and after about three or four weeks they'd raised £11,000. That was enough money to commission the architect. They commissioned him to go away and design this place. It's the centre of the community. It's the historical seat of Doncaster. And it's place. a privilege to be here and to be able to share it with so many other people because we get visitors from all over the world, Darren, the director of music, playing our wonderful organ at full volume. Once people do come in, they tend to come back. They tend to come back. I've loved meeting all these amazing people and visiting these fantastic places. Why not make your own South Yorkshire story?